I just want to do a quick video on the new Lawrence HDS Live that I have installed on my unit. Uh, this is a 16 inch unit, so this is very large. If y'all remember before, I had two 9 inch units, so I figured that I would um, not go with the 9s again this time. Um, and this way, just go with one unit up front. Um, the new layouts of the units allow them to have six different viewing panels. So instead of the four that you had before, you can now configure six different panels. So this will allow me to have chart, 2D sonar, down scan, and structure across the bottom left and right. Again, the brackets that I prefer to use are from uh, Precision Sonar. This is their mega mount. And then this is the adjustable mount for your 16. Um, it can be used with other types of units too, but it's adjustable, fully adjustable. Um, and once you, once you lock it in, bolt it down, it's really secured. I mean, the thing is not moving. Check this out. I mean, it doesn't move at all. The whole boat shakes. Um, also with this unit comes with the, the, the new transducer, which is a three one transducer, which I mounted to my trolling motor and the, uh, the mount that I used for that. Again, I went with a precision sonar, um, mount that they have for the three one transducer, real simple bracket, um, comes with three aluminum plates that you mount on there, one in the front. One on this side and there's another one underneath. And it bolts onto the transducer itself and then you strap it in. Super secure. I mean, it's not going to budge. Very sturdy. This will allow me to have um, 2D um, down scan and left and right on the front of the trolling motor as well. So that's a good, another, a great option. I had a HDI transducer prior to this one and so now I'll just really adding left and right with the active imaging capabilities. So got it all nicely installed, tucked in. I'll strap down, but but I use um I use zip ties and I use the uh, black gorilla tape. It really makes it secure. And when I'll down the wire, I'll down the cable. Which you can see under here. I'll down the cable. And then right into my troll metal troll motor pedal uh, well right there, and then everything just goes inside the hole right there. Real clean installation. So I got a 16 in the front. I know y'all want to see it, so let me let the drill in again. You gotta be real careful with these new. Um, Lids. Look at that bad boy. Hello. So yeah, you can put all your screens that you want to have on one screen. No need to toggle between menus or anything. You can put everything on there. Set it, forget it. Um, you'll notice too, look how slender it is. Get my little secure strap. Hey guys, this is a great idea too um, for your for your covers. Get a little Velcro strap from Lowe's. They're like five bucks for like a pack of four. You can use them in all your graphs, but it secures your covers down when you're going down the highway. Got the glass goes all the way to the edges. Super nice. A little bit different setup in the keys. Some guys have to get used to. Is your plus minus is now below your exit and your enter buttons. So that takes some getting used to. And then also your D-pad used to have lines at the top and then on the four corners, kind of like northeast, south and west. Now they have the lines kind of off center. So now your landing spot to maneuver is between the spots. See what I'm saying? So have your pages key, you still have your waypoint key. And now with the 16, you also have quick sets. So you can have one be like a screenshot. You can have one that be um, a screen to go directly to downscan. 
say you want to do down scan and uh, 2D like this one here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them be a certain two screen and then a certain three screen. Another cool thing is your um, your SD card ports. They're um, horizontal versus vertical they were before. And then this lid is also magnetized. It just clicks like that. That's it. So, boat's kind of a mess going through some things, but I also coupled that with two HDS Live 12s at the console. So, this is the new setup. Don't mind my legend sweatshirts on the boat. It's just there. That's the setup. Ain't hey, another thing, these, uh, the 12s are a little bit wider. HDS Live 12s are wider. Actually, I think all of them are wider than the Carbons and Gen 3s. So your stance on your console is going to be a little bit different. So it'll, it'll stick out a little bit further. And again, I use the um, Precision Sonar brackets. Again, they're, look at that joker. I mean, it's solid. Ripped the console off before those are coming off. But real good in wet, oh, wet weather, in rough weather, big waves, <clears throat> no flexing, grabs aren't vibrating around, nothing like that. But that's it, man. Check them out, Lawrence.com. Come and get you some. Find, navigate, dominate. Peace.